people may say, for example, as soon as I lose 10 pounds, I'm going to start exercising. There's never a perfect time. <laughs> Some day is no day. You, you have to get started on whatever you want to do for there. I attended a conference in Phoenix several years ago, and I got my best idea on the last day. And this is what the gentleman said. He said, go with your ideas when you're at 80%. He said, too often people, and he said, and, and so we have all women in here except for, the <laughs> except for the gentleman there, especially women, are, this applies to. Because women often think, I'm not ready, but I'll take another course and then I'll be ready. Or if I just do this and then I'll be ready. He said, go at 80%. And I found when I got back from that conference and was implementing that with things that I was doing, I was so much more productive. And I think when I was working on my etiquette book, I was falling right into that trap. I was trying to get, get together my proposal. And I remember I said to a good friend of mine who also does business etiquette, I said, Lynn, I saw this course about on etiquette. Do you think I should take that before I put my proposal together? And she said, Kathy, no. She said, if I were your chief financial officer, I would never sign that check. You don't need it. Just get in there and go with it. And she's right. I should go at 80%. And also, um, like my favorite quote, you jump off the cliff, you grow your wings on the way down. What I didn't know, I had to learn. I had a deadline, and, and I got it done. So I think that's, that's really important. If you think of that, go at 80%, you'll find that you are a lot more productive. Now, here's four tips that can help you if you're a procrastinator. There's a lot of them, but these are my four favorites that seem to work. Divide your project into as, mo as many segments as you can. So if you're thinking of a book, you would say 10 chapters of preface, the end material. So that's an, an easy breakdown in there. But think of other things in life where we procrastinate. Sometimes my office is a complete disaster. I know where everything is, but it looks chaotic. So sometimes I say, all right, I'm going to clean the office. It's overwhelming. So what I do is I break this down. I heard this at a conference once. Break down your office. And so you would say tabletop. Then number two would be drawer left of the table. Number three, second drawer left of the table. Third drawer left of the table. And then pretty soon you're doing every part of that office, corner, where I have bags in there. So you put everything so you have a giant list. It's a to-do list. And then all of a sudden when I want to work on straightening up my office, it's not so overwhelming. I think I'll just try to knock off one or two things on my list. So that really works if you can break something down to as many parts as you can. I always find that so rewarding when I'm doing a book, even a chapter, I break the chapter down into components. And I have, when I've done this, I put the references, when I put the quotes or whatever, I, I check them off my list. So breaking things down is a good idea. Another thing is to, somebody gave me this tip uh, when I was speaking somewhere, they said, oh, I, there's a tip you didn't mention, and it was one I had forgotten. And this is it. She said to give yourself a designated start time, like set a timer for a half hour and see what you can accomplish on this project. Whatever project you've been putting off doing, say, I'm going to see what I can do in a half hour. And you will be amazed how much you can get done. I've even done that with 10-minute intervals. Sometimes I think oh, I have 10 minutes. I don't have time to do anything. But then I say, all right, I have 10 minutes. Let me see what I can do in this kitchen. And I can get the whole kitchen cleaned up, everything put away, organized. So that, that really works for me. And I think that's a really good idea. So set your timer for whatever it is. And you'll find that the project that you were having trouble getting started on, you can start. And, and I have found, and I'm sure you have too, for any project that you're doing, the hardest thing is getting started. 